Hi Aries, here's a general look at your solar chart for April 2011, so may I wish you happy birthday, uh, those of you who have birthday this month and last month. Um, all, nearly all of this month Mercury is going retrograde and so is Saturn, so for all of the signs um, it will mean that there is, there's a tendency to delays or postponements or hold-ups, slowdowns, but not excessively so, and it always depends on whether those two planets make uh, connections with important points in your natal chart. So you early Aries, well, you will have noticed that the pace of life suddenly started to kick off, um, probably in February, in fact, uh, but particularly uh, from March the 21st onwards. And although there may be added pressure over the first five days, uh, the sun in your sign until the 20th means that the way should be clearer now you to get on with the kinds of things you want to do for yourself. Your mind is sharper, you've got Mercury in your sign as well, um, even though it's going backwards, um, but it makes you more articulate um, and uh, able to speak out on things, get clarity on things. Uh, maybe you've got a lot on your mind, maybe there's a lot of chatting going on, correspondence, uh, networking, uh, could be study, um, learning how to do something. Uh, it'll be important to keep your eyes and ears open as your thinking is influenced by various new factors that are coming in. And as I say, you've got this speeding up of like events, but also within that, a kind of a sludginess, kind of, you know, slowing down the responses and the, and the toing and throwing at times. So um, it'll be important for you to be flexible. Um, more travel is possible for some of you, um, or at least uh, 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 an increased awareness of what's going on at a distance, foreign lands and so on, people at a distance. And it's possible that you'll have more involvement in communications um, activities, e communications equipment as well. There could be you know, a need for those more than usual, or issues with those more than usual, also vehicles, transport, that kind of thing. But, uh, as I say, expect occasional delays and hold-ups in any of these areas until the 23rd, uh, when Mercury goes direct again, and things should tick along uh, more smoothly, but still with this kind of push coming for you um, from Jupiter and Uranus, which is kind of opening up your world quite, you know, r rapidly. Um, from the 4th to the 7th, Aries born in the first week of the sign will have the chance to get a broader perspective on something as horizons tend to expand a little bit more then. Now you've also got Mars in your sign and you should be feeling more energized and outgoing. Mars rules adrenaline, you know, in the blood, um, <clears throat> making you feel less patient maybe, wanting to initiate things. Uh, get more proactive in a physical kind of a way with whatever you're personally interested in, or if not, whatever just needs to be done. Um, it'll be a busy time for mental exchange and bouncing ideas off others. Uh, new connections can be made, but with the demand on you mentally, you could have a lot on your mind and you can get a bit scattered. Uh, there's likely to be more comings and goings, uh, or you could be burning up the wires with, um, you know, discussions of all kind, but as I said, you know, avoid getting scattered, take time to kind of kick back, you know, find that private space and just kind of realign with yourself, really. Uh, but, you know, you'll be feeling more assertive, which isn't a bad thing, um, <clears throat> but be careful on the 11th to the 14th when someone could really push your buttons and you might overreact there. Um, also on the 17th to the 19th, you could feel thwarted, uh, but being patient and persistent, um, as long as you don't find you're, you're hitting your head against a brick wall, um, will help you win through. Remember that slower is probably quicker in the long run in, in, in during that time there anyway. <clears throat> now Venus is in a very sort of background area of your chart until the 21st. Um, and from the 5th of April, Neptune makes a significant move into that background area of your chart as well. Uh, so in one way, you might want to keep quiet about certain angles or aspect or certain manner, matters with certain people. 
Um, also, you could find that you're putting yourself out more simply as a support uh, for others. But in a way, you could also be kind of pulling strings from behind the scenes, maybe supplying information that could be. Um, uh, also, this is a great transit for working quietly on anything which requires a vision or imagination or plain old-fashioned faith uh, in a higher order and a belief that the force is with you. This vibration could also translate as you're spending more time on imaginative and spiritual pursuits, particularly because Neptune is there for a very short time, few months, um, in this um, background area of your chart, which is to do with your higher self, your deeper knowing, your angels, your guides, <clears throat> your instincts. Um, and uh, it's likely that the sound will be turned up on that kind of connection um, in your mind. Uh, so your inner guidance is going to be working very well and you'll be more in touch with your deeper, wiser self and just a bit more open to subtle influences. So maybe in certain um, circumstances you need to be firmer about boundaries and trust your instincts but don't allow that Neptunian kind of delusion and illusion to creep in. Um, um, feel it in your body to know whether it's true, not just in your mind. This position of Venus underpins your need to treat yourself to some R&R &R as well, Aries. That may include therapy uh, of some kind. Um, highly recommended as the pace of life continues to quicken. And that's overall. Now Uranus entered your sign on March the 12th and it's going to be there for many years. Uh, Uranus, the planet of sudden change, um, the unexpected in a way, uh, being ambushed at times, but also it's working through you. So this will be a time for you to yourself make those changes. Uh, so not just coming at you from the outside, but you initiating. But because it is Uranian energy, which is a little bit unpredictable, um, you early Aryans need to keep a firm hand on the wheel and, you know, your sails set and be aiming towards the shore, whatever that means for you in your life. Um, but during this time, the winds of deep transformative change will be altering you and your world in ways which surprise even you. And this is over quite a long transit, but as I say, it'll be affecting... Um, you Aryans born in the first four days of the sign in March, um, most over April, if you see what I mean. Um, so you'll just have to be flexible and open-minded as you adapt to new information, new conditions, um, uh, outwardly, but also, you know, inwardly. Uranus rules the parasympathetic nervous system, so you can get a bit stressed out with this. You can be a bit kind of jittery at times but also it's a buzz as well. Um, and uh, you could be raising a few eyebrows along the way as Uranus is the spirit of experimentation, um, revolution, uh, non-conformity, and that facilitates, it kind of loosens up all the boundaries, you see, so that facilitates uh, evolution and is part of a significant growth process, even though it may be, as I say, unpredictable at times. And when I say boundaries, I mean the mental boundaries, because it's very mental energy. So you really are getting an awful lot influencing your sign at the moment. You've got Jupiter, you've got Uranus, you've got Pluto, you've got Saturn, and then you've got this month, um, just about everything else, um, either, you know, coming, those planets are coming at your sign, some of them from another sign, but also you've got uh, Mercury and Mars in your sign, as well as the Sun, up until the 20th anyway. But the Sun leaves on the 20th, but the others stay in into uh, May for a bit. Jupiter, planet of expansion, also in your sign. Whoa, uh, that's there until mid-year. That's a major growth cycle, um, even without all the rest. Um, so it is really time for you to start spreading your wings, and also external circumstances will just kind of make that obvious uh, at times. Time for you to strike out into new directions, new areas. Um, <clears throat> some of you will be traveling more and have more contact 
with environments which are strange, unfamiliar. Um, others will be launching into academia uh, or spiritual education. And as I say, with Neptune working from the background from April the 5th, um, you know, you, you, you may become um, enlightened in some way with that if you just listen to that kind of wise voice. Um, so to stretch your imagination, find the teacher, you know, the good teacher, the good counsel you seek or become yourself the teacher and guide to others. In general, Jupiter in your sun sign will incline you to feel more upbeat and enterprising and able to weather stormy uh, conditions um, in a more philosophical frame of mind because Jupiter kind of tends to miss the details and sees the grand overview, which is great at some point points in the life, and then we've got to come down to the nitty-gritty of it all. But you need to be working towards a target, because Jupiter rules Sagittarius, the archer who aims at that target, and so you need to have a target. Make sure you've got a target. Now Saturn continues to test you through close alliances. This is where you get grounded, this is where it gets slow, this is where you've got to sweat the most, this is where the most pressure is. Uh, putting more on your shoulders at times, but also helping you to build seriously useful connections with others, some of whom you may look up to for their ability, their standing, their accomplishments. So that teacher I was talking about, maybe, you know, there's a long, sl slow study program there, uh, or you, indeed, being the teacher. This theme continues right up into 2012. Um, this April 17th to 18th, there may be a lot on your mind directly or indirectly through partners or associates or because of them and what's going on for them. Um, Saturn is retrograde, as I said, so you may not be in the best of moods. Uh, you may want things to go quicker or feel easier, um, <clears throat> and you could feel under pressure at times, depending on the degree that it connects with your natal chart. Uh, but your power to focus on the job at hand is far greater with Saturn as well. Simply do what you can. Move forwards, but keep within sensible parameters, and just be patient. I know that patience isn't your strong suit, um, but this is a time, um, particularly in that close to one-to-one -to -one partnership area, whether that's, well, this is relationships, really, so it can be working type one-to-one -one, uh, relationships as well as personal ones, um, <clears throat> but in that area you just have to uh, understand that you have to cautiously, you know, develop things, be persistent, don't bite off more than you can chew though. Um, overall in the area of relationships, close relationships, you can reap re rewards in the future if you take things one step at a time. Uh, with certain others in your life um, where you feel like, you know, it's a long slog. But you just got to keep plugging away there. The life-changing force of Pluto uh, also continues to be felt strongly across your sign from Capricorn. Choices should be coming from a deeper place now. You'll have an array of new options presenting themselves over this year. Uh, particularly in the first six months, and you should listen to the most primitive part of your knowing. Um, and that, you know, really isn't to do with um, logical thinking, as a matter of fact. So you need to be following your, your gut instinct, um, having keeping the faith there uh, uh, whenever you've got to make decisions. Over 2011, you really are going to be um, feeling it's, just feeling this urge to break free of outlived um, relationships, jobs, uh, the way you are, the role you play, um, and just be more real in what you do. And Arians born the 27th to 29th of March are going to feel this energy most acutely over April. Uh, from the 20th, you'll become more aware of finances or any other thing which affects material security and physical well-being. Well, that's it for April. If you know your rising sign, listen to that too. It'll throw another light on what I said here. And I'll see you the next time.